So we had a question from one of the subscribers on our YouTube channel. It's from Nassbaum. He basically asks how you can finish passes from the half guard and knee slice by using a cross collar choke. So let's talk about that. Elliot's gonna be here inside my half guard. Now it is very, very possible to use a cross collar choke to help you finish your passes, but there's some, some important things that you have to realize to make this successful. Number one is that my knee actually needs to be free for me to successfully do this. So I do have to be able to pop my knee out for me to do this. The reason for this is because if I just try to get a cross collar choke on my opponent and then start going for the pass here, let's say, let's say I just went for a cross collar choke and I didn't even plant my hand out. I was just trying to use this to try to get my leg out. My balance is like way off. It's way compromised. At this point here, if even if he just took his left knee and kneed me right in the butt, he's gonna knock me over and he could just turn his hips all the way down. He can knee me in the butt, knock me over, and then already sweep me. Just based off the fact that I have no base and I have no balance. So if I just come here and I, I have my knee still inside his half guard, I can't use a cross collar choke to go for my guard pass. It's just not easy for me. My weight is too far forward. He can bump me and he can work to sweep me already. And then I'm also going to probably have to let go and post out and, not, and abandon the whole entire idea and pretty much have to try again, deal with the same situation or have to try to do something new. So first important thing is you, your knee has to get out. Next important thing is if he has a, a knee shield on me like this, I still can't do this because the knee shield makes it very hard for you to get close. My ability to get a, even a cross grip on him is extremely hard. So you have to already be past his knee here. You have to be past his knee and in front of his thigh. By being past his knee and in front of his thigh, it makes it harder for him to get the knee shield. Now try to get the knee shield. I just keep my body tracked in front of him. So over here, I just keep my body tracked in front of him. If we turn, so we turn 180 degrees here. I'm like this, knee shield, not a good option to do this. I can't, I can't even get a cross collar choke. And this is without me even getting my knee out yet. Remember, we have to get our knee out. If he doesn't have the knee shield, now I can get the cross collar position on him. When he goes to put his knee in front, I just try to block it with my ribs. But let's go back to the fact that we need to pop our knee out. So let's change again. We're here, I'm inside the half guard. Let's say we're in a regular half guard to start. I first need to pop my knee out. Now the fortunate thing, when you're inside a regular half guard, it's actually not very hard to pop your knee out. Even if he's squeezing his legs really tight, I could just come here and kind of get into like a surfer's position. See how I'm in this surfer's type of position? This pops my knee out. The general movement of just doing this helps me get my knee out. This is actually a very important prerequisite for me to get the cross collar choke on him and even use it to go for my passes. So once again, we're here. He has a regular half guard on me. I go one, two. I don't, I don't go up here because I don't want him to get control of my sleeve. If he gets control of my sleeve, he now makes me lose the ability of using his arm. He can possibly even use it to attack me and go for sweeps. So my hand is actually back here. Now when he goes to grab my arm, it's harder. This hand goes on his hip and my elbow actually goes on his thigh. Why is that? Because we don't want him to get a knee shield. When he goes to get a knee shield and my elbow's on his thigh, it makes it harder for him to do that. I could track his inner thigh with my elbow. Especially if he opens his leg, he's making it easier for me to now get this surfer's position here. So I call it like a surfer's or like, um, like a very low like squat athletic stance here. So we're here like this. Number one, he has a regular half guard. We pop up, we're in the surfer's position. Now that we're in our surfer's position, we can then start working for our cross collar grip. So from here, what I do is I pull up on his collar, I shoot through and I get my cross collar grip. Now when I do this, I wanna make sure I have good base here. I don't wanna be here. If I'm here and I'm leaning over him, once again, if he knees me in the butt, he's gonna knock me off my base and I'm not gonna be able to do things properly here. So from here, we'll just scoop back a little bit this way. I'm here, I have this position. I, have, I want a nice, good base at first. Now when he goes to knee me, it's much harder for him to do it. I have pressure down on his thigh. I'm almost like sitting on his back leg as well. I'm putting like this like butt pressure into him. And I have this control, my elbow is down. Now I have good control. At the very minimum, I'm in a pretty good position to even just start doing a knee cutter in general. I could come through, I could do the Leandro low style and really grind across his neck. I don't even need the control of this arm. 
And now when he goes to turn his face into me, it's hard. And I can finish. I can continue and make it even more strong, right? Or make it stronger by pulling up on his arm and doing this and coming through and then working the finish. But let's say we want to use the cross collar choke so we can do this. And not only that, when we have the cross collar choke, we could possibly finish the choke after we're done passing. So we're here, we're in the half guard, a regular half guard right now. I go one, two, pop, surfer's position. Then I pull and I feed and look what I do with my arm. I drive this way. I'll even try to get it across his chin. Now the big key here, when I go to actually attack for the cross collar choke, I cannot attack for it facing this way. If I attack for it facing this way with my head pointing towards his head, all he has to do is bump his top leg into my butt. So go do it. Boom, and then bring me over. And he could possibly even sweep me or we're just gonna let go of the position and he can even just get out of the whole situation if he doesn't wanna be in it. So this right here, is bad positioning. I don't want to be like this. What I have to do is I actually have to turn into him. So I have to go like this, here. So he's still gonna hold my leg. But look, now that I'm turning into him, now when he goes to bump me, it's much, much harder. I want to try to make my head go perpendicular to his head. So let's turn so you can have a better angle. I'm here like this. I'm in my surfer's position. I pulled the lapel out. I come here and when I go to attack my cross collar choke grip, I immediately turn my head perpendicular to his head. Now when he goes to knee me, it's harder. Look at my foot. My foot is planted out. I'm in like almost like a knee on belly situation. Now when we're here, he goes to bump, go to bump, it's hard. Then I chop my elbow down. I chop this elbow down, I pull up with this hand. And the key here is you actually want to try to finish the choke. You don't want to do the choke just with the intention of passing. You want to go for the choke because you might get it. If you get the choke, you get the choke. But if you don't, you're many times you're going to make the person forget about their legs and you're going to increase the possibility of at the very minimum finishing your pass. So when I'm here, I go like this, I'm perpendicular, I choke, 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 choke as I drop my knee. Then I can come through and I can continue choking him. So let's do this side. We're here, regular half guard, pop up, surfer's knee. Like this, we turn, we're perpendicular. Here, I grab, I put my thumb inside. Ideally, my thumb inside, if I can't get my thumb, put your head down. If I can't get my thumb inside, actually tilt down swift, yeah. So either thumb inside, which is ideal. If I can't, I just grab a paw grip on his, on his uh, shoulder here. So I'm here like this, I stay perpendicular. I try to choke, 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 choke. Here, if I can choke him, I'll choke him. But at the same time, if I want to choke him and pass, I drop my knee down to the mat. So we're here, my knee drops right down to the mat. I want to put it in like this hip pocket here. We're here like this, a choke, choke, choke. And then from there I keep choking and then I bring my leg out. I do not use the assistance of this leg. I want to keep a knee, like a posted position out like this. Because if I bring my knee in here, as soon as he goes to bump me with his knee now, he can knock me over. So for here, we just scoot this way a little bit. When I have my position, I go here, I turn, and I keep this leg out, and then I choke, and then as I do it, I slide my leg out. If you're doing the choke properly, he's going to forget about the legs, and you're going to be able to just pop your legs right out, because they're focused now on the choke. If you don't get the choke, at the very minimum, you were able to get the pass. So if we're here, just to show you a different angle, we have the position, regular half guard, pop up to our surface position, one, two, perpendicular, choke, choke, drop the knee into the hip socket. Then from here, as I'm choking, I slide, and then my, look at my toes, my toes are pointing. Here, so if you pay attention, my, my toes are pointing because it's gonna help me pull my leg out. Don't keep your toes flexed. So my toes are pointing, and then from there, I choke, 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 and then I drop my hip down, now I pass. And then I can finish my choke or solidify my position. So that's a very good way of approaching passing the guard with a cross collar grip. Let me quickly, before we finish this, address if he does have a knee shield on us. So a very good thing to do if the person has a knee shield on you and you still wanna get into this surfer's position is you come out with your leg posted here and you put your hand underneath their knee. So I come here, I go underneath their knee and then I lift up. Once I lift up, my elbow goes inside and then I pop down, 
Now we're in the same exact position that we were able to get into when we were inside the regular half guard. We come through, boom, perpendicular, choke, 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 slide, and then come out. Solidify position, and then we finish. Change the angle one time. We're here. He has the knee shield now. I post, I grab at the knee, I lift up, bring my elbow, push it through. Now I pop my knee through. Now I have this surfer's position, feed, cross collar, perpendicular, wrong, this is wrong, this is right. Then from here, we choke as we slide. Slide, 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 and then we get out. If we, if we still have the grip, we just finish choking. If we don't have the grip, we solidify our position. So that's how I like approaching, finishing my guard passes from half guard and the knee slice by using the cross collar grip. The big thing is try to actually finish a choke because you're not only gonna have an opportunity to get a submission, you're also going to make it much more likely to clear your legs out because they're so preoccupied about defending the choke. So hopefully that helps you out. If you have any more questions, let me know. Peace.